dormitory thrown into chaos, students fleeing for their lives, a fire that never existed. Tonight, we'll uncover what really happened late that November night in Armstrong Hall and delve into the mystery of who this headband kid really is. I'm Mark Gonzalez, and this is 5 Minutes. On November 21st, at precisely 1 a.m., students residing in Armstrong Hall were awoken by ringing alarm bells. The dormitory was on fire, or so they thought. As it turns out, a local bad boy, Joseph Walker, had snuck into the building, intentionally triggering the fire alarms, wreaking havoc in the dormitory. Walker was later apprehended and removed from campus. Follow us as my crew and I take a closer look into what really happened that night. Armstrong Hall. After hearing many eyewitness accounts, we've pieced together what might have went down that night. Let's take a look. Konnichiwa, watashi wa Rogan desu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Shinjin na Shinigami an ye no doitashimashite. Ohayou, ohayou. Nigasama no blank desu. Ingo da ha. Ousen wa Ian, you know, jo Joey Walker uh, Armstrong. It, 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 Shinigami ona, uh, it, do it tashimas to, uh, uh, Renko san, it, it, it choketan. Uh, it, Oboro san, Nisan wa. What he did, uh, the, the fire alarm night was awful. Um, I think that Joey deserved what he got, honestly. I think Joey deserved probably more than what he got. Um, he's, he's really lucky that, that the punishment was as lenient as it was. Um, and I, I really just want to say that it honestly breaks my heart how much time that Joey spent on my hall. After hearing what the students had to say, we then sought out the faculty. We tried speaking with the residential life coordinator as well as the dean of students, both of which refused to comment. Although we found one faculty member willing to speak, on the agreement that their identity remain anonymous. That, that there comes a time where we have to acknowledge that this is America and that we do have freedoms and that, that the people do have the right to come on or off the campus grounds as they please unless they've actually you know, committed a felony of some sort. Um, being said though, these, these protests and the rioting and the Molotov cocktails just flying and being hurled at walls and just not to mention the looting, it, it's, it's just un, un, untenable. Many see Walker as a menace to the campus, agreeing with his suspension. But there's another side to this story. Countless civilians and students across the country hold a different point of view. I think the suspension to Joey crushed the freedom of America. Campus is never going to be the same. We've all lost a part of ourselves. The system is corrupt. I'm going to go back to China this summer. I don't know I will come back again until Joey Walker is free. Honestly, me and Joey are both extremely Caucasian, but he's my brother. He didn't deserve it. Joey was a friend, a roommate, a brother. I have, to, I have a dream to find a line that has the freedom. That's why I come here. But there's no freedom over here. Joey, miss you. As more activists flocked to Cersei, peaceful protests soon turned aggressive. Here's some footage from the riots that broke out around campus. These images are graphic and viewers' discretion is advised. We were lucky enough to interview the leader of the opposition. This protest it's just one battle. The war will not be won until the capitalist has been overthrown, until the bourgeoisie are lie dead, bloodied in the streets, and until the workers have won. The riots abruptly ended with the onset of Christmas break. Though the damages are repaired, scars from the horrific event can still be seen in the eye of every student. The question of whether Walker was a terrorist or a victim is still being asked. But a more important question still remains. Will he return 